Hello and welcome back to a very bleak survival let's play on No Man's Land. We are 127 episodes in now. We are day two in December. Um, this snow is really going to prove a pain. Ah, it's only till 10 o'clock. Might be alright. I've got that hooked up because our direct drill is going to be sold today. We're going to replace it with something much bigger. Um, but the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go and get the truck and we go I'll tell you what we will do first though let's put a load of this into the BGA just to keep it ticking over is it four grand an hour we get? I'm sure it is, I'm sure it's four grand an hour if we keep it going Right, let's turn that off, put that in there, that will just empty out itself. This is actually the second time I've came on to record this, because the first time I was about 10 minutes in, um, hadn't saved the game or anything like that, just chatting away as I normally do, and it just crashed. Can you remember, it used to do quite a lot on... Um, what map was it? Was it Calmston? Was it Calmston that I used to have to save all the time? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it used to happen quite a lot in there. Um, it's not something that happens regular now. Hopefully it was just a one-off. But uh, it's really yellow, them lights, aren't they? Make sure I don't crash. Right, what we're going to do with this, um, I didn't even say did I, we are going to fill it with stones. Now, because it's the second time of us doing this, I already know it's going to cost us just under 11 grand. I'm going to save it as well while we're on. So yeah, I know it's going to cost us just over, uh, just under 11 grand to fill this with stones, which is something like 22 thousand litres or just under 22,000 litres um, but we also worked out that I can basically double my money with it yeah so 10,910 how much did I work out for stones I think it's 10,000 stones per thousand litres of gold it is definitely that and if you think the water's free, the methane's free. Um, we're basically doubling our money, aren't we? So, even if we're not producing stones ourselves, we're still going to make a lot of money out of the gold. So we'll go and get this put in. Um, I'll probably, to be honest, off camera after um, after I finish recording this time, I'll probably just fill the thing, fill the production with it. Because now that we've worked out how much we need and how much we um, make then yeah I need to put a track in here as well don't go in the water don't go in the water don't go in the water I forgot just how heavy this was with all that with all the stones in right so at the minute we've got 3,000 litres of gold Is it just under 10 grand we'll get per thousand litres? Which doesn't seem that much. I suppose we are on hard mode, aren't we? Yeah, 9.7, and it's going to be in July. So, if we keep that ticking over, we should have some decent cash when we come to the summit. Um, those eggs we're going to have to take up, and we need to take milk up as well, don't we? Some of our productions are absolutely desperate for milk. I mean, this is just bleak, isn't it? I know it's dark. I would, um, if I didn't have loads we need to get on with today, I would fast forward until about, well, till after the snow, but we need to get stuff done um, within that time. 
Right, I'm just going to jump to the shop. All right, up at the store. Oh, the doors are closed. It's a bit strange. I wonder if this has an update since the last time I was on it. Or whether they're just going to close every time we save the game now, because they don't normally. They're normally open. Like I said, it has... Well, I said it in the, the last video. It's been like four weeks or something since I've been able to get on No Man's Land. Move that out there. I'm going to sell this first, so we will repair it. Do we, if we repaint this, do we get the money on this? I know we normally do, don't we? On tractors and things. I'm not going to bother. Right, sell for twenty-two thousand. Okay, dog. Now let's go and see Doris. Okay, so, the seed of that, I was going to, well, what I think I'm going to get, and the reason I'm going to get this is because it means we don't have to change our tractor, and it's massive, is this one here, the Lemkin. Um, it's like 12 metres, it holds an absolute load of seed, and it only takes 180 horsepower. Whereas, if I go for something like that, I need 300 horsepower, and it's like 200 and odd grand. And I haven't got the money yet to buy a new tractor and one of them. Um, yeah, everything else is no good. It's either too small, or it requires too much power. So, this is the one we're going to go for. 165 grand, oh my god. I feel sick just pressing the button on that. Um, we are, although it won't be in this episode, we are going to buy a new um, planter as well. I'll tell you what else I want. Let's buy some seed while we're here. Big bags of seed, that's new. And that's not a thing. I've missed loads, haven't I? All these are new. All these icons. Oh, what's that? I thought it said zero. <laughs> um, yeah. All them are brand new. Solid fertilizer, solid fertilizer. Seeds, that's what we want. I wonder if um, we've got that mod on. I can't remember what it's called, where you get 5,000 seeds for um, a lot less. For like a thousand or something, isn't it? You mustn't get seeds in it. Well, not what I can see anyway. Right, let's just get these. We'll go with six. Right, what I'll do, because I know this is going to take a while, because um, I think you have to unfold this to to actually fill it. So I'll get it filled, and then we'll head back down to the farm. Right, we are fully loaded up. 5,800 litres of seed, and we're going to start... I say we're going to start, we're going to plant canola in both. Because I've just looked... We're down on canola, we've only got 7,000 litres left, where we've got 20,000 litres 20, liters of sunflowers. We do have one canola field there, but we've got two sunflower fields. So we've got more sunflowers, we've got more coming out of a field, although granted that one is bigger. Um, do we put canola in both, or do we put sunflowers in one? Hmm... I think we might put one of each. Actually, come to think about it. Right. In fact, let's let's fast forward to it stopping raining. Or snow one. Two sacks. Right, the last 
tiny bit of snow have just finished falling. So we will now put our canola in. And canola goes a hell of a long way, doesn't it? It's a shame I'm not going to put it in both fields because you can get so much out of a small amount of seeds. I know we haven't got a small amount of seeds here, but you can get so much out of it. Just get that headland marked off. Right, I think as well, in the next, possibly in the next episode, I think we might buy a new bit of land, but I don't know what I want to do on it. And we've got our production area, we've still got loads of room in that area. Um, if I do get another bit of land, I should just buy machinery. I think the thing is, if I keep the money, if I don't buy the land, I'm going to buy a new planter, which isn't expensive anyway. It is a bigger one, and it's not even, it, it won't cost much at all. Um, but then I wanted to buy some sort of forestry machine, didn't I? To take advantage of the many, many trees. Not only that start on this map, but what we've put in as well. I mean, a good chunk of this is ours. And there's a couple of bits on the map. Uh, that is... the whole, Pretty much the whole section of the map is just trees. Which you could make an absolute fortune on. Right, as far as scene goes, this is now, we have, it's 12 metres, this cedar, and oh my god, can I notice it, compared to the last one, I mean this is so much easier, it's untrue, because on this map, and on this series, we've never had sort of machinery this big. It's always been like t sort of tiny three metre, in fact it wasn't one of our cedars even smaller, or was it one of our, um, it might be one of our cultivators was like two, two and a half or something like that, it's absolutely tiny. I mean, if you look already of what we've done, we are absolutely, I was going to say ploughing through this field, but we're getting through it so much quicker. I know we're going to have to cultivate as well, because it's not a direct drill where our last one was. But what speed were we going at there as well? Nine mile an hour. I can't remember what we were doing with the direct drill. We needed to upgrade, didn't we? I've been saying for absolutely ages that we're going to put our money into machinery. Um, so yeah, we needed to upgrade. And I think we will end up buying a bit of forestry equipment as well. Uh, it just makes more sense doing that than it does buying a new bit of land and turn it into arable. I mean, look at this. We've only got a couple of more runs and then this will be done. I know there's a tiny little bit around the other side. There's a couple of forestry machines. I think they're not cheap by any means. They're still maybe like 150 
200 grand um, that I'm going to have to look at. There's a couple of mods. I remember just before I sort of um, had a bit of a break from recording, I downloaded a couple. Um, recommended actually, I can't remember who, but someone recommended a couple of them and I went and downloaded both of them. So, I mean at this stage I don't mind spending a couple hundred grand on on that forestry equipment because like I said it's gonna it's gonna pay us back in the long run and we haven't been very sort of um, efficient with our uh, with our planks either have we we've not been putting enough wood into there to get the money out for planks so that area needs to improve as well you can see some of the if you're looking at the seed count some of it keeps jumping up when we get to the sort of centre of the field there must be a, some clear going through it so it's, it's good now now medium there's a bit where it jumps up higher as well I say there's a bit where it jumps up higher. It definitely, definitely, definitely did. That's just Connor's a liar, isn't it? Um. Ah, it must have been on. Is it on that bit? No, that's alone. No, nah, well, maybe I am. Maybe I am lying. God, this is so much better. The cedar that I'm going to get isn't as big as this. Well, the one that I was looking at isn't as big as this. Um, but generally, they're not. The the planters are planters are generally a little bit smaller. But it's just bigger than the one we've got. So when we're putting sugar beet in, I say that. I said, I said about doing sunflowers with this tonight. You can't do sunflowers with this. I'd need a planter. Oh, so we might end up buying the planters today then. I've missed a bit of oh, What other fields have I got that are going to be... Ah, that canola's ready. What I'll do... I will. I'll put canola in both of these. Um, Because I've got two fields that are just about ready. I'll put some flowers in them ones. Right, there's a bit over here. Can't see. That I'd missed. Hopefully that's got it. Right, let's go round the corner. I still oh, I was gonna say I still need to do something with this triangle bit here, but I did didn't I? We've got you just can't see them, yeah, there's a load of trees in there. I need to go and plant some more trees over over in that central bit there as well. I can't remember if I did or not. I don't think I did. But if I didn't, that's something we need to do. Okay, duck. Right. What I'm going to do is, off camera, I'm going to get this field on the right-hand side um, seeded with canola as well. And then we'll come back and see what we're going to do. Next, we have got quite a lot to do. Like, some of it's just sort of running about filling productions up and sorting the productions out and um, filling the BGA up probably looking after the animals as well because they'll have enough food because I remember topping them up but um, it might be things like making sure he's slow he's not um, sort of going over capacity because we use the slurry we'll put that in the BGA so we don't want to waste that as well um, just our stuff that we need to keep up on top of for the farm to keep running. So, give us a few minutes, we'll get this finished, hopefully before it starts snowing again, and I'll be right back. Last small bit, it hasn't took long at all, you can see 11.37, I'm not sure what it was on beforehand, but 
it was well it was after 11 o'clock so not took long at all I am more than impressed with this bit of kit we'll get it popped away what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to get some fertilizer down on it so we don't forget uh, I'm not going to need this until we move in January now so we may as well put it away hopefully our manure spreader is full I mean the good thing about them two fields I suppose we're right next to the um, manure factory aren't we I'll tell you what I didn't do I didn't see if it needed lime or not um, pH it doesn't look too bad right, 86% if you remember as well before we took that bit of a break I um, I started using solid fertilizer as well um, why did I start using solid fertilizer? Oh, because our tractor with um, the correct tyres on couldn't pull this that's why I started using it so we are going to use both right so pH is good nitrogen is bad which is what we would have expected what I'll probably do I'll probably do opposite I'll um. I'll spread on this field and then I'll go off camera and do the other one. So yeah, initially we'll put down a layer of manure. Oh, I need to roll it, don't I? That's going to make it really difficult to see where we have and haven't been. It's so much easier rolling it. In fact, it's so much easier putting manure down first, then spreading then rolling but sometimes if you do it that way you um you sort of waste fertilize what becomes over over fertilized i forgot about rolling what is nothing in there rollers rollers where are we at where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Before I'll have to wait until I go back down. I just want to say how much horsepower our roller requires. Because if it's only about 100, I'll just put it on the John Deere. Um, there we are. 140. Oh, I might have to go on here. John Deere is only 105, isn't it? Right, so what'd that take? About 30, nearly 30% 30 to go around that outside. Which means we we'll probably will have to fill up, won't we? Like I said, it isn't an issue. I think, from what I remember, we've actually got straw still waiting to be processed into manure. Because um, we had that much of it. We'll need to do the grass field as well, although I might do the grass field um, off camera, possibly. It was obviously the grass work that we did in the last episode, wasn't it? Um, what did we get? About 340,000 litres of grass, possibly, off there. If I could afford, which I think I possibly could, it's around about this price. If eventually we could end up getting something like a Crown Big M, then I would 
turn a couple of fields into grass. I know when I played it, and this wasn't recorded, but when I played it on 19, these two fields here, and possibly them two, I think it was them four, I I um, ploughed up, made them absolutely perfect, and then reseeded them as grass. And it made us an absolute fortune. I know I've mentioned it before, but what I did was, I put a, my own BGA here, and then yeah, these four fields were just all massive grass fields. And I had a Chrome Big M, and one of the massive um, self-propelled fertilizer spreaders, and yeah, just it made so much money. Obviously, it took us a while to get to that point, but it was um, yeah, it was worth doing once we got to that point. And all I'll do is I'd have. Let's just get the start. So, if I had the BGA there, I had pits, silage pits just surrounding it, and then I would have belts going straight from the silage pits into the BGA. So I didn't even have to transport anything. It was such a good way of doing it. I know. Turn off. Turn up. Press the right button, and it will turn off. Um, I sort of. And a series that I did record that on was um, Jack Pine, if you remember, for FS19. I didn't do it as on such a big scale, but that's how we sort of tackled the issue on there. Um, our own BGA, then just belts going straight into the BGA. But like I said, it was nowhere near on the same scale. I mean, I suppose it's something that we could look at recreating on here. Um, we'll see. We will see. Lots to do. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this up. We're then going to go back, finish manuring. Manuring. I think that'd be a word. Fertilising, spreading. On our field. Um, our fields, we need to do both and then I'll go and get the roller and we'll start getting it rolled off as well and I'll probably I'll probably come back once we are close to finishing with the roller, I think so, another long just finishing off the roller we, I thought I'd use the little 6300 um, the roller says it needs more power but most of it's flat uh, I know there's this sort of little bit here that does struggle a little bit and it goes up 7 mile an hour it has struggled previously <laughs> um, we've done so off camera we finished doing the muck spreading we spread this field we spread that field over to our left and I spread the little the little one that's just behind them trees it's the little sugar beet one next to the um, next to the biogas plant so I just spread that as well uh, just I had a bit left in the um, in the spreader and it used that up so I thought I might as well do it we've rolled uh, the field over the road there over to the right and we've just finished rolling this one the other fields that we haven't rolled is other ones that we need to um, we need to plant first we'll be putting sugar beet in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly since we've got time as soon as I've done this I'm gonna get straight over to the store and I'm gonna buy our new planter um, we we're already before I come back on here I had a look and we we're already something like 28 minutes 29 minutes into the video so I need to get this done quickly I didn't actually think we'd been recording for that long, but we have, and there's no time lapses in that either, from what I remember, so... We will have to get over. Absolute bargain is, wasn't it? I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it was next to nothing. I'm sure it was only about 11 grand or 12 grand we paid for this. Absolutely. 
absolute bargain. Right, that's that done. Let's get that up, get it folded. So it's an absolute bargain. It is very slow. I mean, 20 mile an hour. It's not. It was. It's not great if you need to keep going back and forth to the store. It's an absolute nightmare for that. I'll be using the. What will I use? I'll be using the um, McCormick for that. I'm hoping we see some growth with these trees when we go into the next in-game month. You can't be, you can't see them, can you? At the minute, might put some more just around that area there. In fact, I think that's a really good place to put them because I don't think I'll be using that for anything else. Right, there's our planter over there. I won't, I won't bother putting this away yet. I'll just do this. I'll put it away after. Switch off. And getting the big lad. I say how big tracked it. It's still only classed as a medium this, isn't it? I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's in the medium class. We don't actually own a large tractor. Right, let's empty that. And I will jump to the shop. Right, let's get this back to and see how much we're going to get back for it. I can't imagine it's going to be overly much because I don't think it costs as much in the first place. Right, there we go. Get that swung round. Make an easy work of this. So we are going to get, we'll repair that, we'll get nearly five grand back for it. Um, it says operating hours, uh, five operating hours I suppose, age 34 months, so we've had it quite a while. Right, nearly five grand back for that, um, again we will go and see Doris, and we are going to get, I already know which one of these we're going to get. Um, What's that? So that's six metres as well. We're going for this one. Eight metres. Uh, 150 horsepower. Oh, it does do fertiliser as well. I didn't think it did. Um, 25 grand. So very similar, really, to the one we're getting rid of. Just adds an extra two metres to it. So again carrying on that theme of upgrade now kit uh, I will buy some I don't know if I've got any fertiliser down there we'll get two bags of seed and what's the difference between them? why have they added that? I don't know I don't know, let's get a bag of that as well um, we will. I don't know how much fertilizer it takes. Is that going to be a thousand? Just over. I'll get to change to sugar beet now. Just so I don't forget. And we're full. Didn't need that second bag. I didn't realise how much was in the first one. I thought as well, to be honest, it was going to take more seed than that. So it takes more fertiliser than seed. That's not great. I'll have to get the bag handler to come up and bring them seeds down. I'll do that off camera though. I won't do it while we're on. Right, I'll quickly jump down there. Right, I was going to go and do that field there, but I think we'll start with this smaller one. Um, just 
because of the time we've got, really. I might do both and just put one on time lapse there. Right, so, 8 metres. We always have to do this bottom bit, don't we? Because it's just too close to the to the chicken coop and the BGA. In fact, do I just go across for all of it? No, I'll have to go down to get that end bit in. I'm saying that, is it even going to let us... Is it even going to let us plant that? Um, sorry, harvest that end bit. I might as well just leave it, mine. Don't take a cow out. Good. I'm sure they'd certainly let us know about it. I know it's only two metres extra. I mean, two metres is quite big, but it looks so much bigger, doesn't it? It looks massive in comparison. And the fact that we're... Um, I'll just go down. If it doesn't let us, it doesn't let us. The fact that we're putting fertiliser on as well, which I know, just thinking... Back to when we've just emptied it. I think the last one allowed us to as well, but we weren't tending to do that, were we? Because we were using manure. And I know before we had that bit of a break, I did speak about starting to use um, sort of different fertilisers as well. Just to try to make things more efficient more than anything else. It's got a really high seed, high seed rate, this one, hasn't it? I think in the coming months, or probably after this... Um, this has been harvested, I'll have to have a look at our fields and see if we can make them more efficient in the sense that if this is such a high seed rate like this, why not put trees in here? And then other areas where we're going to get better soil we'll put um, arable fields I think that's going to be more sensible isn't it get that lifted and check in two more Possibly three, because I've started too wide. Yeah, the whole thing. Let's just have a look quickly. The whole thing's loamy sand. Like, literally, the whole field is loamy sand. That's not good, is it? I think that might be a good idea to put trees here. I'm... And over, over that side there, just behind where the cows are. I think we'll get trees in there as well. I might do that next, um, next in-game month. I think probably in the next video as well. I'm going to get up to date with what's coming in the um, the new release. Is it the premium? It's called. Oh, I can't remember. Um, I think it's ten days away now. So, I'll have a look what's in that and we'll probably talk about that as well. Looks good how they all bounce in a way, doesn't it? At the back. Right. I'm not going to do that with the field. I'm, um Because time, like, time has seriously got away from us. We're at 2 o'clock. We've done, we've done a fair bit, to be honest. We've got these fields turned around. And we've, what did we put in there in the end? Did we put canola in? We did, didn't we? So we put canola in there. Um, we've upgraded a couple of bits of kit. And was it before I came on, did I do some weeding in these as well? I'm I'm saying did I because this is like a couple of days after when I first started this video. Uh, 
which is pretty much movie card and schedule at the minute. So we'll leave it there. Um, in the next month, we're going to have, I think there's a couple of fields that are ready, are going to be ready to harvest. So yeah, we've got these here. I think that might be oats. That's canola. And then you've got these a corn here. So we'll be doing that. Um, and we'll probably have some weed and just some general. We need to get back on top of our productions as well, make sure they're going at a decent rate. And I think we'll get some more trees in, probably this area here, make it a bit of a sort of wooded area um, to match here. So that's all for the next one. Uh, for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.